Hi everyone, Cenex Soft here. So I've connected HPH NTV6 Android TV box based on Rockchip Arcade 288 and a bunch of cables like uh, HDMI, USB ports, Ethernet, a USB hard drive. Okay, I use both uh, provided remote and the melee remote when I need a mouse. Okay, so let's start. Uh, Sometimes you don't know if if it's on or not. When I will not start. That's bad. Okay, I try again with the remote. There is a little delay with the blue LED. Okay, it's on now. After you press power on on the on the button of the box or on the remote control. Uh, there will be a, a delay, maybe two or three seconds be before the blue LED on the display on the on the box turn on. Okay, and the boot is quite fast. Uh, within 20, 20 seconds, 21 seconds, I got. Okay, so this is uh, user interface is a little different from the other ones. At the top, you've got some information about the network and Bluetooth. Okay, all right, and you've got menus. XBMC, but only linking. I don't know why it's not linked directly. Music. Ah, la, la. Games. There are no games pre-installed. Same thing about date and weather. I haven't seen this. I haven't checked the weather part. The web browser again is not linked directly, it's a directory. Same Netflix on YouTube are pre installed. Screencast, social, market, Play Store. Okay, and if you go. Okay, you've got the list of apps, so those include the one I uh, installed by myself for testing as well. And you have a button to kill background apps. My device is a file explorer, file explorer, file manager. I don't like it, I don't use it. It's found in other rock chip uh, devices. So at the bottom you've got icons as well. Um, okay, there is HDMI in. I need to connect something and you will be able to switch between the different video output like this by event in this video. Okay, so let's go through the settings. Ah one more thing. Uh, yeah the shortcut at the bottom you can add but Uh, I don't see any way to remove. That's unfortunate. Okay, let's go to settings. So we've got Wi Fi, Bluetooth, Ethernet. Oh, I'm using Wi Fi now, so that's why there is no IP. Now you've got Tethering, Portable Hotspot. PPN, PPPoE, USB sound. So you've got default output is PCM on SPDIF on HDMI path through. Display you can set the output interface, HDMI compo component or composite. On HDMI, you get 720p, 1080p, and NTSC and PAL at different uh, frequencies. And if you get a 4K TV, you will get some 4K options as well. Okay, I'm using the infrared remote now, it's very annoying to use. Storage. 
Okay, they have two partitions, one partition for apps, 1.91 gigabytes, and partition for data, 25.99 gigabytes. Okay, let's try if I can use this. Alright, I use a million now. Uh, nothing much to see about device. The model number is HP HF N6 with Android 4.4.2. On in the status. Okay, just IP address, MAC address. On that time. Uh, I wanted to. Ah oh, yes, they also have an OTA. In case you wonder about this. Is uh, no no okay. system updates, right? Uh, but I never been, I never check. I never, I mean, I checked already, but I never uh, had to do a new uh, firmware update, so I don't know if it's working. But hopefully it does. All right, so that's all. So now I can press a long press on the power button. It will show this and you can do a real power off. Okay. And that's off. Okay, that's all today. Thank you for watching. The full review will be is on cnxsoftware.com in the description below. Bye bye.